Now, in this part of the question then, we've got to work out the total area of the emblem, okay, A, C, D, A. Well, it's split into two shapes. We've got a sector here and we've got the triangle. So, let's start with the area of the sector, okay? In order to find the area of a sector, what we need to know is this angle in here. And that's easy because in the previous part, we found out that angle ABC was 1.7580 and so on radians. So knowing that this is basically 180 degrees or in radians terms, pi radians, we can find out this angle in here by doing pi take away 1.7580. So let's just start with that then. Okay, so we have that angle CBD is equal to pi radians minus 1.7580 and so on. And notice I'm using the unrounded version of the angle, not 1.76 as we had last time. Okay, so if we do that, what you should get is 1.3835 and so on radians. Now that we've got that angle, we can go on then to work out the area of a sector. How do we work out the area of a sector? Well, you should know that if you have a sector, it's always part of the area of a complete circle. And the area of a sector is going to be a fraction of the circle's area. That fraction is going to be the angle theta. Now, if it was measured in degrees, this would be out of 360 degrees, but it's not in degrees, it's in radians, so there are 2 pi radians in one complete turn, so it's divided by 2 pi. That fraction of the area of a complete circle, pi r squared. And for this equation, the pi's cancel, and you essentially get the well-known formula for the area of a sector, as long as it's in radians, that is, as theta over a 2, or a half theta, r squared. OK, so let's start now with the area of the sector. That sector being BCD, let's just put that down, BCD equals half the angle here, which is 1.3835 and so on, radians times the radius squared. The radius of the sector is 4 centimetres, so that's times 4 squared. If you work that out, okay, you don't have to be in radians mode on your calculator to work this out. It doesn't matter whether you're in degrees or radians because you're not doing sine, cos or tan of an angle. So if you do that, you will get 11.0687 and so on centimetre squares. Again, I'm not rounding this because we haven't finished the question yet. We need to now get the area of the triangle. Area of a triangle? Well, the area of a triangle, given two sides and the included angle, you should know that formula. I'll just jot it down here for you. If you've got two sides to a triangle, let's say this one, let's call it A and this one B, and you know this angle here, let's call it C. The area of a triangle is always given by a half AB sine of the included angle, in this case C. Half AB sine C for the area of a triangle. Okay, and that's what we've got here. Let's just box that round there so that you can see that. So we can get the area of the triangle area of triangle, let's say ABC, it's going to be equal to a half multiplied by the 5 and the 4, so 5 times 4, times the sine of the included angle, which is the 1.7580 and so on radians. This point you must make sure your calculator is in radians mode because you're doing the sine of an angle in radians. So if you type that in, what you should find that you get is 9.8252 and so on centimetre squares. 
So now that we've got the two areas, all we need to do is just add them together. So therefore, the total area will be equal to 11.0687 and so on, plus 9.8252 and so on. And what we've got then is 20.893 and so on. And if we round this to three significant figures, that's going to be 20.9 centimeter squares to three significant figures, 3SF. Alright, well, that brings us now to the end of this question.